Welcome to episode 28 of No BSTS. And in this one, we take a look at one of my favorite state managers, which is Zustand. So people often ask me, hey, I'm on Redux and I'm looking for something lighter weight, but has the same kind of immutable aspect to it, which makes it very safe and also has that, that global state feel. What's a good replacement for Redux when it comes to these new nifty state managers? And the one that I recommend in that case is this one, Zustand. Let's go take a look at the incredibly awesome Sushant homepage with this great animated bear on it. Oh, this is one of my, <laughs> this alone for me in a way sells Sushant. So basically what we're doing is we're importing this create function and using that create function, then we, we get back a new custom hook, which is really nice. And then you can put on there essentially just the state that you want, which would be in our case, the to do's, and then any methods that you want, which would be like add to do and remove to do, I think this is gonna be really easy. Let's get over into our app and take a look and see just how easy it's gonna be. So starting with our app, we've got the original to-do app per episode 24. Let's go and check it out in the code. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna to wanna to do is bring in Sushdant. and then start our server back up again. Okay, let's go over to our use to do's and we're essentially just gonna replace a lot of this. Let's see. So let's see, we're gonna import from Sushdant. And how do we do that? Well, let's see, create is the default export. So let's do that, create. We need to create our new use to do's. So I'm going to say const use to do's. And yeah, that's going to override that for a little bit is a create. And that it takes a function, which gets given a, a setter, right? And then it returns an object. So in that case, we want to define that we have some data in here. So we're going to define using a generic that our the data for our object is a to do's like that. Cool. And we want to start off with an empty list of to-dos. So that's good enough already, although it now still collides with use to-dos. But we want to then go and add some methods to this. So we want add to-do, which takes, which is a function, which takes a piece of text, a string, and then calls the set that we were given. So let's see, set, which that then takes the current state and returns a new state. Cool. And we want to have that the to do's overridden. And I actually have some code for that already down here. So let's go and grab that. Cool. But we need to decompose that state a little bit. So it's these state dot to do's. And then we just make that text. Hey, it's pretty easy. Pretty cool. All right, let's go over here to remove to do and try that. And it's gonna be something similar. We're gonna send be a function. It's gonna take an ID in this case, which would be a number. And it's gonna invoke set, which in turn, again, takes a state. We're gonna return the existing state. And now our to-dos is, we're just gonna filter that like we did before. So let's see, state.filter, we'll go grab that code. And then we'll set that to be the to-dos. And we'll call this the remove ID just to get it away from the existing ID. Cool. All right. Let's go and get rid of all of that. And that is our new use to do's. Cool. Okay, great. I uh, don't need the action type. Don't need any of that. And it looks like we're good to go. We just need to export it. Okay, cool. Let's go back and take a look at our animated bear and see how we use this thing. Okay, so over in the animated bear, we can see that we invoke, in this case, use store, but for us it's used to do. That's given a state, and then we return the, the slices, the pieces that we want out of it. Okay, so let's take a look. If we were to go and use use to do's, I think that might actually just work. So let's see, it is, not, it is no longer the default export. 
But given that, then we need, let's see, down here in use to do's. Aha, okay. So that we could make that the default value back over here. Ta da! And in this case, we're just going to return. All right, so what this is telling us is that we don't have add or remove to do listed in the store. So let's go do that. So we'll do add to do over here. That's going to return a void. And oh, looks like I made a mistake there with that. Okay, get rid of that. And let's see, remove to do also returns a void. Great, perfect. Okay, let's take a look. Hello. Hey, wow, that's fast. That's great. All right, now let's try and do the side by side thing to make sure that that's actually global state again, that this this is uh, global. So I'm going to go and create another just the to do's. Make that a function. And then we're going to bring in the just the to do's in this case. So this is actually nice. We're going to put state dot to do's in there and grab out just the to do's. And then we're going to render that UL. Not have a button for a move. Get rid of this guy. We don't need him. And the last thing we need to do is create an app wrapper that holds both the app component and the just to do's component. So let's go build that. Just gonna be a div and it's gonna be a grid. And it's gonna have 50, 50 columns. where in the first column we put the app, and in the second column we put the to-dos. Just like that. All right, now let's go and export app wrapper as the default. Okay, let's add one more. Awesome, so we have global state share between these two, and we can remove stuff and it's all maintained in sync. Let's go take a look again one last time over at our new use to do's, which is so, so much easier and smaller. So we've got that create function that gets given the topology of the store. So in this case, to do's, add to do, remove to do. It takes a function which gets given set and it's going to return the store. So in this case, we're gonna give it an initial value for that to do's, but we're also gonna give it those methods. So in this case, add to do, it's gonna take a text string, but call that setter so that it gets back and updates the store with a new state and then new to do's. So nicely self-contained and totally global and type safe. So a nice, simpler, smaller alternative to Redux and Redux Toolkit and the rest of the Redux ecosystem if you want that immutable state global store. All right, well, if you like this video, be sure to hit that like button and share it with your friends do me a favor and comment on the video. Tell me if you liked it, tell me if you didn't like it, ask me any questions that we gotta have. The YouTube algorithm really loves comments. So the more that you comment on it, the better uh, these videos are gonna look in the search results and the more people are gonna see them. So that I would really appreciate that. In the meantime, of course, feel free to hit that subscribe button and click on that bell and you'll be notified the next time a new No BSTS video arrives.